Top 7 weirdest macro lenses that I have reviewed on this YouTube channel. Number 7 was actually the very first lens that I made a video about on this YouTube channel. I came across an article by Swedish macro photographer Jon Almen on how to build your own custom high magnification macro setup that didn't cost that much. And it was based on a reversed Canon 40mm lens on a special adapter that maintains electronic aperture. And then an extension tube and adapter from Canon on to Sony and a weird arm that you put a Mikey MK310 flash on. Pretty complicated setup but back in 2017 there weren't that many high magnification macro lenses out there and definitely none that I could afford. So I was very happy with this setup even though it is a bit irritating at times with the arm falling down like this. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a few other problems with this setup, but uh, I was very happy to get started with macro photography thanks to this setup. And if I hadn't gotten it, maybe I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel. So it definitely has a place on my list of weird macro lenses and it's number 7. Place number 6 on my list is a true classic when it comes to weird macro lenses. It's the Laowa 15mm f4 wide angle one time magnification macro lens that even has a shift function. And this is a fantastic lens and very unique because it is the only ultra wide angle macro lens on the market that is ready to use. No modifications or anything, just put it on your camera and get very unique looking photos. Of course it is extremely hard to use due to the extremely small working distance. As you can see here I have to kind of push the petals on the flower away to take photos of insects that sit on the flower. <laughs> so it's quite a challenge to use this lens and also to get the flash to reach is quite a challenge but you can get some amazing results when you take photos with this lens and the look of the photos is unlike anything you can take with any other macro lens because you will get a high magnification while still seeing what's around the insect. You see a lot of the environment and the background and this is what makes this lens so unique and I love it. Place number 5 is the 120 year old Aldis Anastigmat lens that I found on eBay. I wanted to buy the oldest possible lens that I could find, that I could still afford, and it was this one. And it wasn't too expensive either. Made by the Aldis brothers back in 1902. And this is an f6 lens with a focal length of around 200 millimeters. Obviously it's meant to project an image on a much larger sensor than a modern full frame camera. But you can actually take any lens even for a bigger format camera and put on the extension tube and make a macro lens. And that was kind of the point I wanted to prove by making this lens. And yes, I had even more extension tubes in the thumbnail for this video. Sorry for the clickbait, but I have noticed that the length of a lens seems to very strongly correlate with the number of views I get on the video. <laughs> Anyways, this lens performed surprisingly well, I would say. Place number 4 on my weird macro lenses list is the Astrohore 85mm tilting 1 to 1 macro lens. And the tilting is of course the unique feature of this lens. I've never seen it before in a macro lens and it is pretty amazing because when you have a tilting lens you can actually tilt the depth of field so that it is not parallel with the sensor. And this is of course very useful in macro photography because you very often have trouble with too thin depth of field but with a tilting lens you can kind of go around that, somewhat at least. Compare these photos with tilt and with no tilt and you can see that the illusion of a much deeper depth of field can be created with a tilting macro lens. So I was really excited about this lens and I'm looking forward to use it more this summer on real live insects. By the way, each of these seven lenses have their own videos and I have linked all seven videos in the description of this video. So if you want to look deeper into a lens, you know where to look. It is time for place number three on my list and this is a modern classic, the Laowa Probe lens. I think most people who are into macro photography know about this lens. It is very expensive, around $1700. 
but it is kind of unique. Since the lens is waterproof and since it can get into very narrow spaces you can of course do a lot of work that would be impossible with any other macro lens. It also has a built in light at the front which is nice even though the light is a bit harsh of course because it is not diffused. The image quality of this lens is awesome and it is pretty wide angle, it is 24mm so you get some of the surroundings as well. And the max aperture of f14 gives you pretty good depth of field despite this being a high magnification macro lens. But it is not quite as sharp for stills as some other macro lenses but that doesn't matter that much because this lens is mainly intended for videography and it really excels in that area. Time for place number two and now it starts getting really weird. This is Nick Sherlock's 3D printed adapter that enables you to put a cheap $20 microscope lens on a regular mirrorless camera to get four times magnification and really good image quality for only $20. This is truly amazing and a truly an innovation by Nick Sherlock. I loved using this lens even though it is of course very hard to use a 4 times magnification macro lens out in the field on live insects. You pretty much have to focus tech to get some depth of field. But it is unbeatable in terms of price if you have a 3D printer or you can even use a 3D printing service to get it printed cheaply. Uh, the models are available for free online. Also. This lens is extremely thin and extremely lightweight, so it really has some big advantages over most other macro lenses, I would say. So that is place number two. Are you ready for the weirdest macro lens that I've ever reviewed on my channel? Here it is. A $5 CCTV lens that you can find on eBay added on the front of the $20 microscope lens setup that I just talked about. These CCTV lenses can be gotten for $5 including shipping on eBay and you just add a plastic tube that Nick Sherlock has also designed to the front of the lens I talked about previously and then you screw in the CCTV lens and what you will get then is a highly magnified wide angle picture. So basically you get a very thin, very narrow lens that gives you an image very similar to the Laowa 15mm macro lens. But this lens you can build it yourself and the parts only cost you $25 which is pretty mind blowing. There are some downsides of course. Uh, the biggest one is that this lens projects the image upside down in your camera which can be a bit frustrating. <laughs> and also it does not cover full frame. And that's it for my weird lens list. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more macro photography videos.